Yo, look at this. This is literally the most decluttered I have ever seen any of my bedrooms ever. So it's definitely not finished yet. Like I still have a standing desk coming in and I might get rid of a few stuff or just accumulate a little bit more stuff. But I think I'm at a place where I know everything that I have off the top of my head and I feel pretty good about it. That's kind of a big deal for me because I've had such a bad hoarding problem and you can kind of get away with that by just being really good at storage, which I was. But then I started moving around a lot and if you've ever moved, you know that moving with a lot of stuff just fucking sucks. I would just load things into boxes and then just start hating my stuff because I would have to carry it to the car and then make multiple trips and then wonder why my room still looks full and then housemates look at you weird. I finally got sick of it, so over the past few months, I've been really aggressively donating, selling, and throwing away probably like 90 to 95% of my stuff. I guess you could say I'm shifting more towards minimalism, but I hate using that word because people kind of assume that it means owning nothing or being super cheap, which is definitely not the case. Like, I still really like owning nice things. I just want 100% of the things that I have to be stuff that I either need or I really, really like. First of all, no matter how minimalist you try to be, you're probably gonna sleep and you're probably gonna sit. So if you're gonna do that anyway, you might as well make it good. I've tried every combination of setups possible. I've tried floor sleeping. I've tried a bunch of different types of mattresses, different sizes. I like this the best. I'll make a separate video on this specific bed and why I chose it, but it is a Japanese shiki bhutan on a tatami mat. And then I got the uh, cheapest 100% down comforter I could find. I think it was like $100 from Pacific Coast brand. And yes, it is more expensive than the cheaper microfiber or synthetic comforters, but I definitely noticed a difference in uh, breathability and comfort for this one. And I probably wouldn't notice a difference between this and say a $500 down comforter so I think this is like that threshold where it's no longer worth to spend more money but I do think this was worth it and then these sheets are from Brooklinen I went with the 100% cotton per kale sheets um, just because they're supposedly more durable and they're more breathable and they're lighter. I was so scared of white beddings for so long because I thought that, oh, I wanted something where I could hide any dirt or any marks on it. But uh, now that my bed's on the floor, I don't really sit on it that much. And actually having a darker colored sheet doesn't really make it less dirty. It just like hides it a little bit. So really I should be washing it frequently regardless of the color. And you can actually just use OxyClean White Revive. It's not that expensive and that keeps it pretty white. This I actually got just yesterday. It's a Steelcase Elite V2. I got it used on Craigslist. Now, the thing with office furniture is that it can get really expensive. Like this retails at like $1,000, but I got it used for about $300, which is still really expensive, but it holds its value pretty well and it's really easy to resell. A few years ago, I bought a Herman Miller Aeron chair for about $500. And then after two years of use, I resold it for roughly the same amount that I paid for it. So a bunch of other stuff was super hard to declutter just because I either overthought it a lot or it was just straight up annoying. So like sentimental items, things that were gifts, papers, old tools that came with furniture, packages, boxes, manuals, warranties, school-related documents, stuff from my previous internships and jobs, and then electronics. I had a bunch of cables, a bunch of chargers. Now I kind of just stick with this as my main phone charger. And this comes from Anchor, who is actually today's sponsor. Turns out Apple isn't actually giving charges with some of the newer iPhones. So if you're gonna order a new charger, you might as well get one that's the fastest and the most compact for like under $20, which is the Anchor Nano. It's the same size roughly as Apple's five watt little charging block, but it charges three times as fast. And it's also about half the size as the equivalent Apple charger. I really like how it doesn't clutter up my power strip. I hate it when chargers just block other outlets. So this one gets the job done. So let's say you have an iPhone 12, charging for about 30 minutes on this will get you from zero to about 50%. It's designed for iPhone, but it can work with pretty much any device as long as you have a cable that is compatible with USB-C. And if you do have a fast charging compatible device, it will get you that fast charge benefit, but otherwise it'll just act like your standard charger. So I'm gonna give you guys a live demonstration. You ready? Boom, quick backpack test. Yup, that's portable. 
Anchor, thank you for sponsoring this video. I'll put a link down in the description. This part was really hard for me. I had just way too many clothes and I had a hard time getting rid of them because I would justify it to myself saying, oh, they still have a little bit of monetary value or they're still good. Let me wear them to the end of its life or try to resell them. But if you really think about the actual amount of space that all those clothes take up, like how much furniture I needed and how much closet space I needed for them, it actually no longer becomes worth it. Uh, to keep your clothes around because you're actually losing money on rent uh, just by needing a bigger room. But if you have fewer clothes, you need fewer furniture pieces and your room just feels a lot bigger even if it's a smaller bedroom square footage wise. So right now we got two colors of t-shirts, one tank top, three pairs of Adidas track pants, three pairs of gym shorts, two pairs of leggings that I usually wear under my gym shorts, about 15 pairs of underwear from Target, and then two kinds of socks. I have the standard crew socks and then the no-show socks. Sorry, I forgot what they're called. I have one All Saints graphic tee that I thrifted a while ago for whenever I'm feeling extra. I got three long sleeve t-shirts, and then three thermal t-shirts for when it gets colder, mostly in the fall and winter. And then I got one knitted crew neck sweater if I need to dress up a little more. And then four pairs of comfy sweat shorts that I use just for lounging around. And then this is my electronics bag with my hard drives and stuff. And then running shoes, pair of Vans, hold up. All right, so we got our casual daily shoes. These are Stan Smith's black Vans slip-ons, pretty straightforward, and then other running shoes, which aren't really for pure running, like for 5Ks and stuff, but these are just for like stability, outdoor sandals, indoor sandals. And then over here we have three plain champion reverse weave hoodies with no logo. And then one fourth one with the logo. Uh, it's mainly just as a beater for doing anything that I might get dirt on me, that I might, doing anything that's dirty. <laughs> so for the gym, cooking with a lot of oil, uh, drinking coffee, anything outdoors. Three crew neck sweatshirts, two of them are black from Nike, one champion reverse weave. And then I got two denim jackets from Gap, one wool cardigan, one rain jacket, and then one button up Oxford shirt. So now for the rest of the room, I got my valet tray, earphones, fake plant, water bottle, go bears, mini hand sanny, piggy bank for all of my loose coins. This is all gonna fit on my new standing desk that's coming in tomorrow. I already measured it out. Uh, I got my printer, I got my subwoofer, which goes with my speakers that are there and over there. Uh, I got this used on Facebook Marketplace. It's Bose, so obviously it's gonna be pretty high sound quality. And the speakers actually aren't that bulky, so I like that. A lot of computer speakers are just really big bricks and I don't like those. One fan. I'm surprised that a table lamp has worked this well as a room light, but I also don't do that much at night anyway, and daylight is usually good enough for me during the day. But if work picks up and I need more light at night, I'll probably upgrade this to a floor lamp. But so far, I don't think that this is gonna be an issue. My keyboard works with both Mac and PC. Speakers, notebooks, something from the DMV I gotta address right away. Uh, my one book left from my cello book collection. Uh, I'm probably gonna play through this sometime over the next few months. Uh, printer paper, and here's my PC. I built this for gaming, but I haven't been playing that many games. I'm trying to keep it in here so I'm not tempted to play Apex again. For video production, I think my MacBook's probably good enough, but uh, if I need to whip this out, I probably will, but otherwise I'll sell it. Spare lenses, guitar holder, gimbal, Chemex filters, three beanies, boxes for the mouse and keyboard I just got. I'll probably just throw those away soon because probably not gonna return it. And this is my 49 key MIDI keyboard uh, that I use to try to learn piano, but I kind of gave up on it. So I might just sell this soon. Uh, I don't know, this one's still kind of hard to get rid of because I have hope in music production, but it's not looking good. So might have to say bye to it. Got spare towels buckwheat holes for my buckwheat pillows. Oh yeah, I have uh, traditional Japanese buckwheat pillows. I like those. And then cello, electric guitar, hangers that I really just keep around for drying towels and stuff. Uh, and then my camera backpack, accordion folder for documents, my one backpack, it's empty right now. And then laundry hamper, gym bag, foam roller, workout equipment, clock, wireless mouse, Chemex, water bottle, cleaner, the smelly thing, and then Aquaphor moisturizer for my hands, and then I'm trying to sell this watch, and then fake plant.
All right, so that's pretty much it. I do have a few other items that are too boring to show, so I'll just throw a list up on the screen. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.